we can all be athletes. And if you, anybody knows me, um, I wasn't really caring about being an athlete or doing anything athletic before about October. And now the thing I get is, wait, you did a half marathon? I didn't know you had that in you. I'm like, oh my God, neither did I. I had no idea either. Um, and so I've now done triathlons, duathlons, um, training for a marathon, and I didn't care about any of this until about this time last year when I was presenting. And so I'm here to come up with, basically tell you guys seven things that I've come up with and figured out in my experience that got me through getting to the point where now I'm training for a marathon, which 26.2 miles, is that right? Yeah. Scary. Very scary to me. But um, hopefully it switches really soon is the goal. Um, but the main things I want to talk about are one of the things is motivation. You got to be motivated in anything you do in life that you actually want to do. Trust me, in Tulsa, when you want to get up and it's seven degrees outside and you got to go to the gym, it's tough. And I know it's tough. But my story started, like most men's stories, with a woman who got me going and I said, hey, I want to look, you know, better. I want to be the, the rhino and kind of, you know, the unicorn, right? Things that make hot. I want to also look good. And so I said, I'm going to do this. But then it got into, I don't really care so much about doing that as I want to get farther. I want to go more distance. I want to have a better time. I want to get a faster 5K. I want to do this. And this is now my motivation, which you guys have to find. I look at this. It's the back of my door and my uh, bedroom, and it's my motivation. I want to plaster that with numbers. In fact, there's two more things up there as of last weekend. So with that, you have to have goals. My goal is to get more more of those stickers. I want more events. I want to do more of those things. I want to do more training. I want to do more of the stuff, which I didn't really care about so much. But you guys kind of have to figure that out too, is what your goal. And the next slide is not really, you don't really have to, I couldn't figure out anything to put up there. But you have to come up with something that's attainable. You can't say, I'm going to run a marathon without running a 5K first. You can't say, I'm going to do athlon without ever getting on a bike. It's not going to work. So you have to come up with something and train for it, be part of it, and, and really engage it. And it sucks. Uh, I'm not, not going not gonna to say anything. And you're going to take a lot of time. Um, everything takes time. And you'll see in the next slide, which I have, I have 156 hours on my heart rate monitor since May 1st, which comes out to be approximately 1.1 hours per day since then, um, which I've trained to do something and, and gone bicycling, riding, running, whatever it is, swimming. And you can see the training. It takes a long time to run 22 miles. And that's what I got to do before I do the marathon in the end of November. So it takes hours, and you gotta do that. And part of that is you have to have the support of whoever you're with. It's family, friends, uh, if you have a significant other, one of the things I'd have to say is if your significant other does not support you in what you're doing, you're probably gonna fail. Just because they gotta be there, like anything else. If you take a new adventure, you have to do that. You have to have the support of your significant other. If they don't think it's worth it, you're gonna start to think that too. This is actually my coworkers. We all support each other for the first 5K for them. I'd already done it. Neither one, none of them had done it before. So we all got out and did it together and that was kind of our big support. We all got together, which was a lot of fun. But one of the things is you have to reward yourself also once you meet your goals. My biggest thing to rewards is you can eat chocolate. It can be buying new clothes, which you'll buy a lot of if you are a big guy like me and lose weight. Um, you will find yourself doing whatever it is. Mine is beer. Quesadillas at McNally's and pizza. Every time I go do an event, that's, I want to do one of those. It's either Joe Mama's or McNally's and beer. Oh, that's the thing. That's my favorite reward to give myself when I get done with any major event. And you got to find yours. If it's chocolate, awesome. Good thing. But one of the things you're going to find is once you decide you're going to go one step further than just regular jogging, you're going to find yourself spending a lot of money. I spent more money than I've ever spent in my life on anything else. My computers do not come close to what I've spent on gym memberships, supplements, shoes. I actually run in the Bicolos if you guys want to talk to me about uh, five fingers. Um, supplements and all the things that I had to buy, heart rate monitor, that's like $900 worth of stuff and half of that I buy every month. So um, I have to keep doing that and buying new things and it is gonna cost you money. But you'll find you have fun doing it. And you have to find the sport that you have fun doing. If it's swimming, if it's biking, if it's running, whatever that ends up being, triathlons are my thing. I love triathlons. Um, you're gonna find something that's fun. And once you find something that's fun, it's easy to go do stuff. And one of the fun things that I have, which I was kind of give you a thing, one of the best parts about this is I get to talk to people and they go, oh my God, you look totally different. And that's a lot of fun, which that was actually last year and this year. Andrew's over there, his hair's longer even now. But um, there's more than just that. So, but notice Whoa. I didn't stop beer. But um, one of the things that I want to leave you with is it doesn't matter if you walk, skip, crawl, run, jump, 
cross the finish line, get taken over in a gurney, whatever, finishing is winning. All right, thank you for letting me share with you today.